Hello there, this is Krishna Patel and you're watching me on the Fact Flash. This evening our story is going to be about IAS officers. In the last couple of months there have been uh, more than three stories that have come up about IAS officers and their aggression. Now the question that we have is that uh, why are IAS officers across the country getting aggressive? There have been several reasons that have come forward. One, it could be the pressure of work that they are getting. And I think this is one of the most, uh, you know, most said thing amidst people that they are getting aggressive because they have a lot of burden about their duties. Now, let's start from a very recent incident that happened in Chhattisgarh that had been going on for more than 48 hours now. In Chhattisgarh's uh, Surajpur Jilla, the district collector, uh, the video has gone viral wherein the district collector was seen slapping a teenage boy or a young boy who uh, it seems according to him was going to buy some medicines or rather was going out for some important work. Uh, it could have been his vaccination as well. Uh, he gave this answer when he was asked by the collector and the collector first threw his phone on the ground. He broke the phone and then slapped the boy. The video has gone viral and people have been criticizing the collector and uh, then the collector made another video in uh, less than 24 hours uh, apologizing for what he did and he uh, felt that what he did was wrong. Now, after this entire incident happened, the Chhattisgarh government decided that uh, they did not want to have them and that they do not appreciate this sort of action. They, in the last 24 hours, in the next 24 hours, they transferred him to another place and the video, like I said, has gone viral. Now, another video, like I said, went viral in another 48 hours after this video, wherein in Madhya Pradesh, a assistant collector was seen slapping a shopkeeper. After both of these incidents happened, we were all uh, reminded uh, of uh, a wedding that was happening in Assam and how the collector of that particular jilla went and slapped the pujari of that wedding and this video went viral again. However, uh, there were no COVID guidelines being followed in that particular uh, wedding that was happening. But the question is being raised only because uh, IAS officers have been, they have been told, advised, order, whatever you can say. And we've also seen them over the years uh, being very polite, being very kind to people and that they are there for people's service. And therefore, any sort of action that is very aggressive, that comes up very aggressive from them is something that people don't expect and they end up complaining. However, the IAS Association of India has also condemned all three of these acts saying that this is not something that we expect from our officers. On the other hand, the IAS officers are also being praised across the country because their work is commendable. All of us know that recently PM Modi also appreciated them and their work. They have been on their toes throughout the second wave of COVID. They were said uh, they were called as field commanders by PM Modi and all of us uh, still appreciate the work that they have been doing for the country. They have been great leaders throughout the second wave of coronavirus. However, the question remains the same. Is it the people who are not listening to them? Is it the work burden that is coming on them which is making them so aggressive? Uh, both of it could be the reason that, you know, people are not listening to them, people are not following the COVID guidelines which is making them take such aggressive steps. It could also be the kind of workload that they have uh, because they have been, like I said earlier also, that they have been on their toes throughout the second wave of COVID. So they have not, a lot of them that I know, a lot of them that I spoke to particular in my, particularly in my city and my state have been working for 50 to 58 hours straight without getting their sleep. So I think their work is commendable. So is it their work that is coming up? Is it the burden of their work or is it people actually not listening to them? And is it that people actually are not following the COVID guidelines the way that they should? So with this and a lot more that you need to know, make sure that you stay tuned to the fact. Gosh.